All right. Hello and welcome to Crow Wing FPV. I'm Matt, and in this video, I am going to be flying the Flex 25 with Emu Flight. Now, this is the first time that this quad has had Emu Flight. The, the devs just wrote the target for this for me to test out. Well, not necessarily test out, but I guess I am to test it out. I went on to their uh, Discord and asked if there was a target for it. Next day later, I got a target for it. And so I'm going to go fly it. Uh, I am going to be doing some footage. Actually, probably all of my footage will be done with the Runcam Thumb 4K. Now, I have to say that it's not very good. So it's not going to be a whole lot of footage. Not going to be a lot of flight footage um, just because it doesn't look very good. I, I, I've already flown it. I've already actually made all that content everything like that, and I'm doing this now in post. Um, so I know what the outcome is going to be, and I gotta tell you, I apologize, but it's not very good. Um, it's a good camera as far as the quality of the image, but the uh, stabilization through gyro flow, I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, I'm using, just searching on the internet and looking at other people's YouTube that are running this, and I'm doing exactly the same way they are, I'm just getting shitty results. So I don't know what's going on with it. I want to do uh, a review on the Runcam Thumb, but I want to give it its due diligence and I want to make sure that it gets a fair shake because the quality of the image for $90 is actually pretty phenomenal. Um, it just doesn't stabilize the way that I like. Uh, that being said, I also flew the Insta360 GO 2, same quad, and it was perfectly smooth like butter. So, something with the stabilization, I'm sure, and it'll get figured out at some point. Anyway, let's move on to whatever. I am going to fly this with Emu Flight. So I got Emu Flight put on to the Speedy B Flex 25. And it, it's really awesome because uh, I believe it was like Thursday, uh, Thursday night, roughly Thursday afternoon, I went on to Emu Flight's um, uh, Discord server, and I asked if there was a target for this all-in-one that they have on here. And one of the devs piped in and said, I'll get on it right now. Next morning, I had a target for this. Now, this is going to be my first time flying it. Uh, it took me a little bit to, to get it all kind of configured because the I had to remap the motors because it's in a pusher style, and I kind of forgot that you have to flip the motors. Um, now, I got a little bit, uh, I guess, pampered over the last few months with Betaflight 4.3, where, where it's really simple and easy to remap motors. Um, I forgot that with Betaflight, or with um, uh, Emu, I had to go through and actually do uh, just remapping the resource in the CLI, which really isn't that hard to do. It's just, it's just not as quick and simple as it is with Betaflight 4.3. So it wasn't really that much of a deal, but it is what it is. Now, one thing that is really, really slick, and I really love this feature, is that... Let me record my screen here. Um, with Emu Flight and the Speedy Bee, I can still use the Speedy Bee app. The app still works with it. As you're going to see here, let me plug this in. And let's connect. Here we go. Speed to Beef Flex 25. And it's going to load up. And it's just going through Bluetooth. Nothing fancy. And as you see up in the upper left here, right underneath where it shows the battery, it says Emu Flight 0.4.1. And it shows the target that I'm using, the Speedy Beef uh, 745 all in one, and that's what this is. So this is a target that was just made just the other day specifically for it. So this is the first time that this Emu Flight target is being used on this quad ever. And I'm actually testing it out right now. But the, the Speedy B app is fantastic. It works great. It does all the, pretty much everything that you need it to do, it's going to do. Just like if you're in uh, beta flight using the SpeedyB app with the, the USB plug-in and whatnot, it works. It works great. I love it. 
I mean, you can go in, you can do all your all your modes, you can do pretty much everything that you that you need. All right, so I'm not really going to get too much into that. So I'm just going to close out of this, and we are going to get straight to it and start flying. Okay, first of all, on this flight, I'm running the Run Cam Thumb 4K. And I gotta say, the quality of the video, this is actually in 4K, um, the quality of the video is not bad for a $90 camera. It's actually pretty good, surprisingly good. Um, but the stabilization through gyro flow is just terrible. And I don't know why, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, uh, I went off of what everybody else is using for settings in Gyroflow for the Run Cam Thumb, but it just doesn't look very good. Um, I've ran a Go 2 on the same quad, and it was buttery smooth. So it's not the quad causing all the issues when it can be stabilized perfectly on a Go 2. Um, so. I want to do a review on this thumb cam, but I'm waiting until I figure out uh, gyro flow, if it's something with me um, or not. But if I was saying just the camera itself for $90, it, it's a good deal because the quality of it is decent. Now, this is no color grading, nothing to it. This is just straight out of the camera. Um, but the stabilization is what is lacking. And they don't have a 4K lens profile yet for this camera. So that may be part of the issue of why it looks this way. Okay, enough of that. This isn't a run cam video. This is on the Flex 25. So now this Flex 25, I'm running Emu Flight. And it's running beautiful. It's running nice and smooth. It's very well controlled. Um, and it's running for, I'm getting about another minute out of this quad. Uh, when I was flying with Beta Flight, I was getting a little, little pissed off that I was only getting like, not even two minutes to two and a half minutes top flight time. And as soon as I switch it over to Emu Flight, I'm getting you know, at least another minute out of the flight time. So I don't know if it was the settings that they had set up, obviously, uh, with the factory settings that was causing the battery to drain out a lot more. But when it lands, it's nice and cool motors are good and it's running very very nice so no more torturing you with a shaky unstabilized stabilized video uh, i'm just going to cut it right here so now this is what i would consider being a decently stabilized video right here now this was off of my dji osmo action 2 and it's nice smooth flying now, I did not fly this on the Flex 25. This is actually on another Cinewhip of mine, but I just wanted to give kind of an example of what I feel stabilized video should look like. That's all. Okay, so in conclusion, I would have to say Emu Flight on the, what is this thing called? Flex 25 actually is pretty damn good. Flew nice, flew great, did everything I wanted to do. Um, and I can't complain. I mean, I love the fact that I can use SpeedyB uh, app, even though I'm running um, Emu, because this is actually my first experience running the, the SpeedyB app. Um, I know they have that, that little plugin that you can buy, plug it in and it allows you to use your phone. Uh, but this has it built in speedy B, you know, they make the app tools. So pretty much everything that they build, um, comes with built in Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or both. Um, but yeah, I would say if you're going to go out and pick, pick up a, a quad that this is actually a very viable little quad and it, it, it flies great. It, it's got plenty of pep, plenty of speed. Um, I'm not affiliated in any way, so I'm not trying to sell you something so I can make money off of it or anything like that. Um, I bought this myself. It wasn't given to me. So don't think that I'm just sitting here trying to sell it to you to make some money because I'm not. 
I don't really care. I'm just going to give you my personal experience with it, and I like it. So take it for what it is, you know, watch a bunch of other reviews as well on it, and just make a educated decision off of that. But for the price and what you get out of it, with that little tiny, small, little footprint, um, but with the power of a 2.5 versus a 2, it zips around. And it, it, it handles uh, a decent sized camera. Now, I don't have a GoPro Bones, but I am going to fly it with a GoPro Bones here probably within the next few days just to see how well it does with the GoPro Bones. However, one thing I have noticed with this quad is, I'm trying to see if I have a battery up here. The way that the battery sits, you can't push the, the you can't really push back the, um, the case for your camera so you don't get quite the angle that this kind of needs because it's zippy it's fast it's quick uh i know you're supposed to fly them slow but i mean it's, pr it's pretty easy to get this thing going fast where it's at a pretty good tilt so to tilt this back you really have to run a pretty small battery uh unless you figure out some way of doing a print amount that comes forward and then up to bring this more forward or whatnot somehow some way to get it to to fit a little bit better i mean you can run a little flat smaller battery on there but then you really get shitty flight flight times so something that i don't know maybe i'll try some of those uh lihvs like the 720s and see how those run on those are a little bit smaller and would allow for a camera to have more of an angle to it but all right well that's it please hit that subscribe button hit that bell um if you if you don't like me then of course you don't have to hit it but if you like my content you like what i'm doing please just hit that it really does help me out so thank you and i'll see you in the next video